Hello, my name is Hans George Campbell and today I'm going to show you how to prep and format an SSD for use with a Sony PlayStation 2 video gaming console. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have your solid state drive plugged into a USB adapter and that that USB adapter is of course plugged into your uh, PC. Okay, um, so basically the, the adapter that you're going to be using is a SATA to USB adapter. Okay, next thing you want to do is you want to go down here to your start menu search programs and files and you want to type in disk management uh oh <laughs> I spelled it wrong. okay man okay disk manage meant okay and that will bring up, okay, you must initial, initialize the disk before Logical Disk Manager can access it. Okay, fine. All right. So that brings up this program here. Okay. Um, now, there's two reasons why <laughs> okay anyway that looks good enough I just want to have it nicely displayed over my uh, Amiga computer <laughs> okay there's two reasons why you want to bring up disk management the first reason is you want to make sure that the solid state drive that you're using for your PlayStation 2 looks like this. Okay, it has to say unallocated. It cannot have any format, it, it cannot be formatted, and it cannot have any partitions. It has to look just like this. Okay. The second reason for bringing up disk management is you want to verify what the disk number is of your solid state drive. Okay, disk zero in my case is my main Windows 7 hard drive. Okay, disk one is my SSD. Okay. So, so far, everything looks good. So, we'll exit out of this program. And we're going to use a program called WinHIIP to uh, prep and format the solid state drive. And you want to run this um, as administrator. It's very important you run this as administrator or else the program will not see your hard drives. Okay? All right. Move this up here on my beautiful uh, 1080 Amiga monitor. Okay? Looks nice. <clears throat> All right, so now what we want to do is we want to select the drive. And as you see here, it comes up with drive 0 and drive 1. They both say PC. It's very important that you do not get these drives confused because if you pick the wrong drive, like let's say in my case, my main Windows 7 hard drive, it will wipe that entire hard drive. Oh yeah, it will. Now in this case we know it's drive 1 because we verified that with disk management. Okay, so drive 1 is the SSD. Okay, the selected hard drive does not have a valid PS2 master boot 
record. That's okay because we're going to create one. <clears throat> All right. So if you look here, we have drive one selected. It's the SSD. Okay. So now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to format that drive. Okay. Now, because we're using an SSD that's 120 gig, 120 gigabyte, where it says application right here, it's only going to show HD loader 28 bit. Okay, so that's the one that we're forced to use. If you are using a hard drive that is larger than 128 gig, it will bring up a second option named HD loader 48 bit and that's the one that you want to use if your hard drive is larger than 128 gigabytes but because I'm using a 120 gig SSD I'm selecting HD loader 28 bit so that's fine that's fine do not do a quick format okay if you're setting up, if you're formatting a brand new hard drive or a brand new solid state drive, you always want to use a full format. You want to do a full format. The reason for that is because when you get a new hard drive, I mean, uh, hard drives are not formatted at the manufacturer. The manufacturer of these hard drives, they do not format the hard drives because they don't know if you're going to be using it with a Windows computer or uh, a Macintosh or Linux or whatever you're going to use it on. They don't know what you're going to use it on. So they're not going to waste time. They're not going to waste their time and manpower formatting the drives that they produce and, and that they sell. So when you get a new hard drive or a new solid state drive, it will not be formatted. And because of this, I recommend that you do not do a quick format. You want to do a full format on a brand new hard drive or SSD. Now, after you have done a full format, then it's okay to do a quick erase. That's fine. But when you're setting up a brand new hard drive or a brand new solid state drive, you must do a full format. Okay? And that's what I'm going to do here. So erase mode is full format. And we're doing uh, HD loader 28 bit. Okay, leave all this the way it is. Don't mess with any of this. Don't mess with any of this. Okay? And then you click on okay. Are you really certain that you wish to format the selected hard disk drive? Yes, I am. The format process cannot be reversed. That's okay. Okay, so now it's formatting that hard drive. Now, a 120 gig solid state drive on, I mean, going through the USB 2.0 um, port is going to take around an hour to format and so I, I'm not going to make you guys sit through this for an hour so I will be back shortly so see you then okay I'm back looks like we're finishing up the formatting of this solid state drive for use with the Sony PlayStation 2 Yeah, that took about an hour to format that 120 gigabyte um, SSD. Okay, the HDL settings partition has been created. Alrighty. Okay, so we can verify that this drive has been formatted for the PS2 
by clicking on select drive and as you see now it comes up drive 0 is PC drive 1 is PS2 okay make sure is the, the correct drive is selected so now I'm going to show you how to add your ISO images to this solid state drive um, and you create the you create ISO images of your PlayStation 2 uh, DVDs uh, by using ImageBurn. Use ImageBurn software to uh, create you know the ISOs of your PS2 DVDs. Anyway, let's add a few images. Click on Add Image, Image File, and then okay, Add Image. And I already have this set to my uh, PlayStation 2 folder. So we're going to select, I'm, I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Let's select that one first. Okay, and then you click Open. Okay. And um, we click or we click start. Okay, and this allows us to rename this part up here. This is the menu name. This is the name that will actually show up in OPL. So or in HD loader. So in this case, it's going to be BG, which stands for Baldur's Gate, okay, Dark Alliance. And this is your boot file. Do not mess with that. Do not change that. And do not change the media type. Leave that alone. So it's going to be BG, Baldur's Gate, Dark Alliance. Okay, so let's click on OK. And it's just that easy, boys and girls. It's now copying over um, my ISO of Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. And you can see how fast it's going. It's averaging around between 31 and 32 megabytes per second. And keep in mind this is going through the USB 2.0 port. Okay, it'll be a lot faster if my adapter was USB 3.0, but it's not. It's USB 2.0, but still it's, it's going pretty fast. It's it's uh it's pretty fast considering this is a what almost 3.6 gigabyte file. It's a huge file. On a 120 gigabyte solid state drive, you can usually copy over between 30 well between 28 to 35 games, something like that. Sometimes 40 games. It just depends on how large each game is, you know. Yeah. Yeah, this goes pretty quick. Goes pretty quick. Okay. And we click on Yeah, it says the image has been installed. And then we click on Okay. All right. So this is now the image, you know, the game Baldur's Gate Dark Lines sitting on the solid state drive. And if we check mark this box here then we could edit the image settings if we need to do that. Okay so let's add another image. We'll add um, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2 and um, what am I doing? 
<laughs> okay. Click start. All right. Okay, BG Dark Alliance 2. All righty. And it's just that easy, boys and girls. Just that easy. This one's only, what, about 2.9 gigabytes in size? I think the reason why it's smaller is because it doesn't have as many cutscenes as uh, Dark Alliance 1. And those cutscene movies, they, they take up quite a bit of space. Yeah, it goes pretty quick. Okay, so that one's done. Um, well, that's it for this video. I just want to show you guys how to prep and format a solid state drive for use with your Sony PlayStation 2. And I also want to show you how to copy over to that SSD your um, ISOs. Um, anyway, my name is Hans George Campbell, and until next time,